okay, I'm sitting here in the hospital. Get ready for the IV. It's my cancer journey. <laughs> I got my power port put in yesterday. So you get to see what it looks like when I do. Yeah, it just looks red. I'm afraid to just pull it. I don't know if it's just going to come off, rip something out. I, I just don't know. It's supposed to have some tape over it somewhere. And the rest of it is put together with glue. So there's my power port. It doesn't look like anything's been bleeding, though. There's the pads. The inside. Seems like nothing's been bleeding. But now i got to cover it with plastic. Tape it all down. And then I can get in the shower. The Claritin that I've been taking, it causes... Um, so heavy sweating and the past two nights I have been just about to die in bed <clears throat> with this stuff just sweating to death anyways I'll let you know how the shower goes and tomorrow I get my first chemo and we'll see how that goes so wish me luck okay so I went in and got my first chemo um they pump me fill with a bunch of anti-nausea medications. Made sure this stuff didn't kill me right off the bat. <laughs> Anyways. I wore this shirt. So the port could be accessed. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Turn on the other light. Might help. Whoa. Okay, there you go. They used the port. Everything worked just fine. Now I'm hoping that I don't get as sick as what everybody seems to think I will. I'm also making sure I got to quadruple up on some liquids. This is a little bit of, um, uh, like Gatorade stuff. Um, <clears throat> and half water because uh, my son told me the orange would sometimes bother his mouth and because of the cancer meds they suggest that um, you know you, you get mouth sores some people do and then here's how to prevent it so I have been trying to make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do so that I can be done with this and finally look at you and say, I'm done and healed. I know the Lord is going to get me there. Anyways, can't see, I can't wait to see how things turn out. Uh, this is the first of uh, four rounds of this type of drug. Drugs, I should say. There's two of them. Um, I didn't sleep much last night. That's why the big bag's under my eyes. <laughs> and I woke up in, you know, in a bad way. But anyways, um, there's four rounds once every two weeks. And then they change the meds and they give me something every week for 12 weeks. And see where we're at, I suppose. But someplace in there, if this thing shrinks down enough, then um, they'll go ahead and cut off the entire breast and get rid of it. And I will be um, I'll be happy not to have the lump anymore. And honestly, I'm just old enough that I'm not too concerned with the um you know intimate things like being with a man 
I'm not going to worry about it. If there, if someone comes along, then they're just going to have to accept it the way it is. Because probably with the next round, I'll probably lose all of my hair. I'm thinking about just going ahead and shaving it. I think I'm just afraid I'm going to be cold. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let you know as, uh, updates uh, as we go and let you know how my little uh, trick with cancer is working out. But I say, always have hope. The Lord has different ways of healing people and, and you don't know which one is going to be yours. It could be a natural healing and straight from God, you know, put his finger on you and said, you are healed. Or if you're going to do the route that I'm doing, I feel like this is the right route to go. I feel like he's guiding everyone's hands that are involved in this. And I'm probably closer to my my children now than I ever have been. That's sad to say, but I, I shouldn't say ever have been. When they were all younger, I um I thought I was pretty close to all of them, except for maybe Sam. And I'm making up for that now. He's, <laughs> he's the one taking care of me, him and his wife, Kim. Anyways, you'll never know how much you love somebody until you really need and have to ask for help. That's the hardest part for me, is asking for help. Don't be stupid. You can't do this by yourself. Anyways, I'll let you know how things turn out for me. <laughs> Have a good one.